He's more than the president. Yeah. He's more than the prime minister. He's more than the Ratu. He's more than the Mulu. He's the king of a Hallelujah. nation. You will see through, increase their faith, and sharpen their wisdom because you are the author and the finisher of our faith. God of our nation. Every Sunday is at 10 30 a.m. Live, Live on, on my, my TV. TV. You go through whatever questionnaire you feel mm. things that you have to feel, and that's it. It's like you only remember you're going in, and you don't remember anything else until they wake you to come out. And I spend the whole day there. It's a anesthetic. I would have died in my sins. Amen. But And looking over the years, if he only positioned us for something little, and I would have died in my sins. Today, as I was sitting, I wrote the administration for you. I wrote the sermon. I listened to you like a program role. And I, 
I just somehow, maybe, it all linked up to what I'm testifying today, even though I never expected to testify and I never planned it. Lucy, Nibiumi program role. Lucy came into the UK because of Abby. Because after I had that abortion, it didn't take me long, not even one year, to be pregnant with Abby. And I remember every time I'd be praying and asking God for a girl, I all then all then always in my mind, um, that baby was a girl. God is never going to give you another girl. You'll have another boy. But I kept praying and every time until Abby was five months old. And and for us uh, that we know sex sex By then I when I went for my scan sex or not, I said, no, I don't. I went for my scan. They never told me, but it was so clear on the scan. And I remember when we were there, the, the nurse asked us, uh, can you not tell? I go, no, I can't tell. But those who don't understand, they don't scan. Maybe they can't tell you. That was five months. After I was five months. My prayers just changed from asking God to thanking God that the child I have in my tummy is a girl. And I never changed my confession until I went to give birth. Was with me in the delivery room. And uh, he was so excited to say that it was a girl. But I was excited. I was confused why I was so excited. Was I not expecting a girl? And then I told him, I rejoiced when she was five months old old by God telling me that she was a girl. So na nungu rekita ka niya kwa yalewa, au seta kapa na bila bitha na bula saoti. Au rawa ngaya ambaleta na kau kau ni kelo. Kau bambo tani, eso na ngau na tuli raka na kelo na nanda bula mebandi nindi na teki tinga kina na na lolo makina na na yalondina. And I believe God did that somehow. Na ngau na yadu kina lenga ya usaka ya oteuna senga talindo na kau the kapa. I will not. Even in the struggles that we are facing, we're going to face it. We're going to go through it. And God allowed it. Because if he didn't, he wouldn't have allowed me to get pregnant again. And then, because I wanted someone to look after my baby, and at the same time, I was working to look after my family. Talangasi was a full-time student. Uh, I had to get someone. And Aunt Lucy was in Fiji. If you're only here to do this little part of your kingdom, positioning her just because maybe of this time. But And I remember Aunt Lucy was just starting her form seven when I called my dad and I said, I don't know anyone else and I don't want anybody else. If she's willing, please can she come? That's how she came. And she only stayed with Abby for a short time, and now she's having her own family. Amen. And uh, we've celebrated Abby's life for the last 21 years. Amen. Because they are way makers, they are signposts. They, they are sent by God to do something in your life, maybe just to give you an insight Amen. of what's coming next. I, I believe that's, that's what happened to me. That's how I believe that my children truly are from God. It's, it's not just a coincidence. Yeah. It's not because you're married or you're couples and Hallelujah. you need to have children. No, they are destined by him, Amen. just like you and me. Hallelujah. And I, I believe that. But now we are going through, we come to church and we rejoice in the presence and the fellowship Hallelujah. and everything that's going on. But only God knows what's going on at home Amen. and what you face with your children. 
And uh, that's what we've been going through. And then somehow, out of the two boys with the gap that we have in between, we only went to Fiji to celebrate Abby's birthday because we believe we owe it to the family. Amen. That uh, no, 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 is not because of just us. It's for the family, the relatives, the people that were behind us. Amen. That's why we want to go back there. Amen. Amen. And how far they've come. It's not ju just because of us. It's because of them. Yes. And we went, even though it was a big decision that we had to make. But I saw God providing everything. I saw God providing everything. We never asked anybody. We never told anybody anything. Amen. But then we just got a phone call, a message to tell us. And us as a mom, the way we've been here for 20 odd years. And uh, going back to Fiji and doing something after 20 odd years. How does it go? So I was trying to think and figure make it complicated. And I remember sharing it with Auntie Rai when I learned that they were not going to be there. Okay, uh, we don't want to mention it. Gaslev is not going to be there. So there's no chance. And So We'll just make it simple. We bring our relatives together. And like us, coming from Fijian families, we have tradition and culture. And they'll bring another one to replace it. That's how we do it in Andronga. But in Ono, they don't do that. So when we went, I wanted to have a balance. So one side of the family don't feel like they're left out. So I told Talangase, uh, uh, I don't know how you do it in honor, but this is how we do it. I don't have anything. If my family are going to bring something, I have to provide something to give back. So I bought one VVV, not for, the, for my family, but for whoever is going to do the word. But, but God uh, went before us. That's, how, that's not how the honor people do. And I respected that. And Talanga said, no, that's, no, we're not going to give that. If you guys uh, and you take it back, then you bring your imbe, take it back. I that's I want to value both. I don't want to be one sided because my children are singing on a yono, rakayono, sang a rangoni on a So that's I, I just wanted to balance it out, and that's how. But on the Langa Takatu Mokata my way, Yanakalonga Vivarotaki, Nandro Giritu and Iluni, Songa Songolot, and Tiraki, and Gaslev, and we didn't ask them for anything. And I, I remember I never shared it to my mom. I spent time with her when I was in Fiji. I spent time with my two brothers when I was there. And I never mentioned it to Auntie Lucy, even though she's my only sister here. There was one thing that I missed so much. Um, but my dad died when Abby was just two years old. Amen. And um, the reason why I missed him because um, he was one person that I trusted uh, so much. Amen. And, I, and I respected him because of uh, his teachings. Amen. 
na 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 vitu mbiri na na vivo bulizi na na visu sengi um kena na na mbuli nyerere vaka na klo he never forced us to go to church amen but he he laid a standard and he followed it himself it was just enough for us to observe amen and and learn from that hallelujah um never chased us to church never forced anything about church on us he lived the life Amen. and that was enough and and i don't know how mr gato o sengwe ni wase tele bindua go singa mateli ngo na mo o wase ki na ndola na mbula o am mr gato lungu to me bit oh wakila ni o mr i've been to fiji after he died a few times but this was one time i missed him so much because i knew ningo e bakano ngu songo and the only person that we had have had my back was my dad and god knew it god knew it and he placed na non rumbula na bilitak mero sataba ke na na wait ya and uh, i i have no words to describe it na ne to to me bit na na ka na le bonite te era tete en ke ne song song lo to ben dur ni ko mo ka vi na ka vale Vina kwa leo na ya undu selia na ilavo na vina ni even the thought and uh, just simple messages because when i went nanungumbula o sini via ka undu i don't like asking um i don't like telling people um i like to take i just like to do it myself and yeah. have the responsibility to myself but na kalonga in muriendo na ngoni sala ndo tani nangona ketola ko kena meketole ba mbula tunga arwe rona bi litaki simbara sing suzu ne yapkali ngai tarongi ke rawro ngasilemen trai what do you nada batale se bo and we didn't say anything but they knew that there were other things pending and yes there were definitely other things and only god knew that who would have done that nakalonga nakalonga re ne dakaba ya mero and nana ngoti me ne robit ne to bel tal no ngai kai rendi ne ngasilebo um don't be 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 chikoya no no to kuna koya in my head but i was trying hard to fathom you know how did god knew exactly what i was desiring and we were counting down a few days but satu oti tu no no great for tu ba ke to sabita no ke rote vale they were preparing something and i was wondering man if they're going to prepare big na na mutumbutu leling ha but when you have the heart to do it it doesn't matter how small it is Onge me rongo de tiko na itala noa na nga na keto vidi de ki na mele vanga ra ina kaka na keto wota te kindalo a to te te na ulu viti family na kaka na ndina ka usar mai ira ha uno nguna no matu na korne antima is just like a few minutes away from lotoka omba that was the first time i ever went to mboroto and it was so far and onge me rongo de tu na itala noa i muri nge na mother wa daka kini since to the epicali the leaders were in new zealand as a family Uh, but Gaslev gave his personal car to go and collect the melekota maina the tavioka are to take in an old liberty family my member to sara uh you can also to one to can do no motaka because we were calling around and no rental cars was available that's big enough to take us and load three bags of cassava so we told the talanga so our only option is the small cars and if we have to take that don't worry we'll just get whatever bags we can can about onge basukanga but in sasini bero ro but ke bakai ko mbola e ko ni didi na motokali lai may drop lo toka didi tal lai drop mere ni ka u ketanga mai na tabio ka mai sanga but we we were taken aback and uh, maybe that's why i i miss my dad but i didn't realize that he took my dad and he replaced it with one that uh, would do things that eva kai ko e ko sani ke la mo mo ba ka samata ka ba da ba but e korni e korni ba ka dengu tunga ne lo muni ko ke la ni sangani ba ka tamata e sangani kai ko raida na kai raida ti ko na tamam ko ba ben ben ka kinon rumbula na bilita ke ne ka ni kuwa um ke to le collecte ke nda lo ke to le collecte ki ta bioka bon de tumai wana no no le ro nga se le bo ke to la me na koro me bon de ke na bon ya ya me le va nga ta ke na catering ke ro nga me ro ngai tala no e muri we ne le ni lo ter ngai tambaka na lo ri ni nga se le bo 
Erangay sent to each other to say, we've never seen this car load Nalo, or things like this. Um, it's like we were so, um, I don't know. I, I, I don't know whether I felt bad that we had to do that. But the confidence, the only confidence that I can find is because he's my father. That's probably. I was in the Bethany or in Taltalangas. I was in the Bethany or Leon Lotu. I was in the Bethany or Tamangu. I was in the Bethany. He's got my back. Because I was so worried about the logistics. I was so worried about everything else. But God just did it to prove to me that it's not my money, it's not my strength, it's not the material things of this world. It's His word. And His word was in display before my eyes. Nangona ni nungu mulu mulu mu, nangona ni nungu tabu tu, nangona ni nungu leveka, nangona ni nungu ma, ni siya ngabeya unaka. Kayo choweli, let the weak say, I am strong. Let the blind say, I can see. Let the poor say, I am rich. That's why I find my confidence, I find my assurance, I find my goodness in God. When I heard that, instantly I felt bad. Did we abuse the leaders? We didn't have to. And on top of that, we were worried about paying the fuel. We didn't realize that when we, when Talangasite came to help us, he told us, we were just lost with words. And today I just want to stand to thank God and thank the leaders. You've done so many things in our lives. Um, uh, we owe it to you for the, the hard teachings. Now um, we But we deep inside. We always rejoice because in those troubles, in those trials, uh, in those tribulations that we may think going through personally, it is the word of God molding us to be a better person to be better vessels of ourselves, um, better versions of ourselves, not because of who we are, but because of his kingdom. And I praise God and thank God for what he's doing and he will continue to do. Maybe in Donambula and Dambitiko Nikua. Dombega na kaiko, baka thala kataka na nomumbula. Dombega na kaiko, lako dhuruma mai. Iko na noma nindo, watata otu nomumbula ni ngarabo na kalohu. Iko mopangandi na tamanda na nonobosa. It took me a while. It's not an overnight thing. God does it to process you. To tell you that yes, no mumbula itikon din ang abiyao. Siya nga nitikon na numukaukawa, siya nga nitikon na numubinaka. And I'm grateful and I'm thankful that sometimes we look down on our children. Sometimes kaya ang begira. Yo babi na binaka. Uwa na kalaw. Sabi, terus ang bulkan tuan ang baki. Kato li celebrate taka tunan bula ni Epikali. Lai babi na binaka taki tunan ang bula. Na nona achievement na nakato doko. I was just looking to God and thanking Him. You never allowed me to make that mistake another time. I wouldn't know how many more years I would have regretted that. But I'm only grateful that you cleansed me. You purified me. You are good and what you do is good. Teach me your decrees. Kendona kame darunga ndraba na kabini kuwa darunga ndraba tunga na nana bossa darutani yada tunga na nana bossa mbaleta nana bossa eno sotaba numu baka na nana sotaba ne lomu baka tawana na matani ya lomu eno sulete langa biko na poka dengo kaya waisha you give me him perfect peace those whose mind are set on you because they trust you au wale sio bwana kalo na langi langi na dzere na rokobi me bossa bina kata kitunga na turanga na kabina kani kuwa Hallelujah praise the Lord. Jobs chapter 8 verse 7 Hallelujah Your beginning may seem humble But prosperous is coming your way Amen. Proverbs 19 21 The word of God says Many are the plans of man in their heart But the will of God will always prevail Jeremiah 29 11 The word of God says Amen. For he alone knows the plan that he has for you Declares the Lord Plans to prosper you not to harm you Plans to give you hope and a future Hallelujah We thank God for that powerful testimony Just that to lend a soul Wherever ever you are connecting from uh, this wonderful evening. Amen. I take this time before I pass the platform that is built for Jesus, built by Jesus, built with Jesus. Hallelujah. With a vision of winning souls to Jesus. On behalf of our ministry leaders, we take this time to greet every individual viewers, wherever you are connecting in from, whatever part of the world, whatever continent. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. 
we take this time to greet you all in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, from back home in Fiji, Mr. President and the family. And also the Prime Minister and the family, opposition leader and the family, and all the parliamentarians. We take this time to greet you all in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Not forgetting all the denomination, all the Pentecostal church and all the Presbyterian. Hallelujah. Whatever denomination, we take this time. All the Gatselebu. On behalf of the church leader and on behalf of the souls to Jesus ministry, we take this time to greet you all in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Not, forg not forgetting the Vanua as well. We take this time to greet the three Matani two. Hallelujah. The 14 provinces of Fiji. The 195 district. Hallelujah. And the 1,193 villages. And the 3,000. And the 300 islands. Praise the Lord. We take this time to greet you all in the mighty name of Jesus. We hope that you are all enjoying. You are connected. This wonderful hour, amen. And uh, lastly, not forgetting also the NCF members. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for Hallelujah. your commitment, your sacrifice. Different time zone. Hallelujah. Yeah. But we do believe that you are all excited and looking forward. Amen. And looking forward. Amen. And also, hallelujah, the prisoners. From the minimum, amen. the medium, hallelujah. and the max. Hallelujah. hallelujah. We take this time, Hallelujah. Wherever you are, wherever the different uh, constitution you are sitting on, hallelujah. We take this time uh, as we know that uh, someone has uh, went to Kaseleb to say a big uh, thank you. Hallelujah. Amen. One of them was my brother. He just came out. Also take this time uh, to greet you all in the wonderful, in the mighty name of Jesus. This wonderful evening. Hallelujah. Amen. And I take this time as I won't take us for long. I'll invite the third and the last testimony for us. SP. Sabenada tu ibanga hallelujah help from the core of sewake ngau lo mai biti mary tu randi ni tal talangase ana tu ibanga tu beautiful children hallelujah from the zone of sacramento all the way from sacramento usa here to oxford just to testify the goodness of god in his life and in his family hallelujah praise the lord the bible says in mark 12 28 29 30 love the lord your god with all of your heart with all of your soul, with all of your mind, and you love your neighbor as you love yourself. Galatians chapter 6 verse 9, the word of the Lord says, Do not grow weary in doing good, because you will reap the harvest if you do not give up. First of all, I just want to take this time to thank Almighty God. I thank the Holy Spirit for the opportunity that is given for me tonight to stand here to testify the goodness of God in my life and also to my family. Wabina bina tawa le buna kalo. Ena mbongi ni singa ni kuwa. Sama mbongi chiko na banua. Ena banua le mungo ingi landi. Singa chiko na banua na. Na banua le bogo viti. Wabina bina tawa na kalo. Na matanga na mbongi ni kuwa. Ni rao ni soli viyao. Ndo na ngao na ngao. Muma ibaka tu saki na nabinaka ni kalo. Kina nongu mbula. Kina nongu matabu vale. Au sini. Ule dhava muna. Wabina bina taka. Na bili utaki ya na isoko songo lotu le vena. Dambe chiko ni kuwa na nga selebu. Waki na randini nga selebu. Ratau nampak orang cikgu mai na bubal bawa beli utaki, ena sikit ni dah ratau kesan executive managers mai binti ratau nama aku mumi, pan dah macam ni ko EMPT, betul ke tal tal ngase Henry Sandy sikit ni dah. I thank the Lord for the leadership family of this church because of their preaching. That's why my family is saved today. Amen. Ni tu kuni alat cikgu na rendi ni tal tal ngase, gay bangun anu mui cikgu na kalau. But any point on the two hundred and sixty nine, we must be grateful with what the Lord has done. Amen. I was sitting there, I was crying because the Lord reminded me of the great thing that He has done in my family. Amen. Kerawu asing atau nikilanan raya, kita itu yang rendah dengan selebu mereka kerawu bulan raya. Kita yang nero, nero Sydney motoka, praise the Lord. Aku bangun aku mandor nangau na uci ku mai binti. Aku mai tengu na dah dah kesama yo cina nunggu kontak. Jono singa lau mai nunggu bosso i nunggu balle. He know when he knew and understand that I'm I'm not working. Praise the Lord. Sekarang mandi dengan ikut sama yang dalam bulan raya ini nunggu balik. Di mana mandi nak kilat juga nunggu bos. Nono ni dah dah kan susah sangat untuk bisau ini. Rendah tal tal kan saya full time. Wing kerabat juga nama TV. Hallelujah. Aku ibu abu bina kata kan turun dengan selebu aku cakap. 
ena ngomna saranga ula odruma tu kila ndrende kote ondora bali kana mai suba le bakani yo kina ke kote ondora bonoa le bule kina no gusulu i will be i will be fail uh, i will be grateful hallelujah una sitting ula baba i will never forget what the lord has done una numa lesuna mara mara ndinga silebona la ko ingela na la ko yai israeli hallelujah kila ngana kala una kai tu na tanga ngona ya Nguna sapa ka mertu mbimbi mai kini mertu salau mai kero salululu sapa kila ningo na kasala ko lingangu na tangi ni mateni alongo kena nongo pa bibi na ya au nando pa bibi na ta tsuki na buba le mabili utaki ene singa ni kwa dambe tsuki ni kwa randin tal tal ngasi praise the lord dona ngau na mai to bi mate to bi ko na appendicitis o be ka tsungo le bu na ngau na nda sangu le baba na kai va ka bona kalu praise the lord sa mai to so na ilong lako God has blessed us. Sometimes it's very easy to forget what the Lord has done. Yeah. Amen. No gundam be chiko ika ipa kana numi uchiko na lotambo. Gai na numi chiko, na numi chiko. Au sindo mandu ataka mutu ni lotaka na bibu no kedo tu ni logina. I was not raised from a rich family. I'm I raised from a humble family from the village. Amen. Gai ndo ipa kana numi uchiko na kalo. Remember your humble beginning. Nangona sana labiti kukina na kalau na bunuh apa na labiti kukina tak kuning mulai apa na lingo lolo mani kalau kina no mumbula rendi tal tal nggak sentam bici kuning kosong nggak nanyu tuh panah nunggu tulang nawi matangku my children they enjoy their mother now because of the love of God katu biko ana appendicitis biki muni sember ni rong ada unut kuning alat alat le Hallelujah eh na tambu ni appendicitis nindo itu bi appendix Menga imbombo raki oko ya mata imbenga ni mbongi mosiki nanga imbombo raki ko ndono marama. Haleluya. Ke mambale na ni mbombo ya saka ka ka mbote iketena na. Ngona le sele kina na nana sa tu ke venga iketena. Sando ndo nume samate. Ni kwa ndambe tiko miraya. Ro maro ta tiko no lubengu. Ke wa sanduri tiko no mbongi ni kwa. Sa senga tiko ni ndo na tsina na ro no lubengu. That's why I'm so grateful to this mighty God. Au ba ba ni vina ta na kalo. Ti ndo ndo na ta vingo ba ro tiko ni kwa. Dona nga nego iko baro ngotsika sika nde ndai haleluya ndo ra ra ni ngongu le baba kai ba kamana kalo ina no mumbula emeni le bona ngona ndo ndo nga na kai ava ba ngon ta sangu le baba you forget your testimony again sangu le baba tale na kai ba kamana kalo kina no mumbula ya na ka obye tukuna kina na mateni ka to bale mondo be grateful of what the lord has done emeni ya na kai ndo mbilingi au mu tokoro tukina na kavi Hallelujah. Ndina manda ni lebo nangona. Lago durumi na uli bonoa. But these are the things that the Lord, Holy Spirit will always remind me to continue to strive to do better because the Lord has done greater things in my family. Oba bini bina takina na kalau. Ena singa bina gani kuwa. Hallelujah. Na kene karuwa na singa nenda e. Na kawwe tukuna chiko na nomu ihalon dina. Ena nomu dhakaba chiko na itabi. Iko kadhibi gina. Matai nga ando. Oba bini bina kenda. Balebu loyalty to God number one. Niko sama ingaraba na kalau na wekangu. Desire to try and do godly things. We are not perfect. I am not perfect. Praise the Lord. Yo niko sengata mo the kaba chiko na bikai bina kaba na kalau. Kona saraba na kai the kaba na kalau kina numbula. It will be very challenging. Praise the Lord. Keto ingaraba tu mai biti. Hallelujah. Keto ingaraba na na sono 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 ngono keto obusia. We love. We enjoy what we are doing. Kero the kaba saratunga ni kero lo mananga na kavi, kero lo mananga na vilutaki, kero lo mananga na vision. Little that we realize, ni kalo saba. Tuba tuba katu, rondo lu rosa ulondoa na na bulo sebi tamba. Mikito sa buta kina na bono biti, mikito sa lao mei America. Amen. Numa induri chiko na kavi ni kolo saraba tu na kai the kaba na kalo. Kina ne rumbula, kina ne ruma tu bale. Na vaga vaga kavi rondo ngone. One thing that we desire as a family to try and do good things for God and also the things of God. Oh, oh, kila ni tasa mati kumengo na isuko suko loto ni New Methodist Christian Fellowship. Hallelujah. The top of the mountain na na vinga rabi na vinga rabi kina in a zone in a region in a division have the heart to do it with love. Maro tanga na kawa the kawa. Titi ba kina singa dindai. Kero sin titi wenga na 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 ila mo sanga we we give our time kero me chiku rongo hallelujah mado talango na mission sunday chiku america na mbale kero ngara chiku rona zone ya muri anga no ne yatu kero bina katu me kero me chiku ke 
na nero sa sanga man nga mi karot ko ike au tuno bi tay rani dal talgasi two weeks um, uh, in a rongo on a 48 hours dry because i was excited to be uh, to be here in england amen au lao men al nana maki so i fast and i pray because i want to be here with you my brothers and my sisters because i love to support the things of god amen ayana kau walo nganga takina no ndambula ndachikonikwa lebo no ngona ndara challenge sakino ndambula to bale mu maruta kero sa tumbu chiko mai kero sa bimbi me garanti ndal tangase au tuno ba ona sikani kana au na dry chiko ani bale ayana kau buli lelo monso kusokolo tu amen kana ai selim sa bulu kalima na tikinde ono baka sanga rai choba ni sekunde rawa masuti kwa ya niko se bole katiko dombe kana we kango ba ro chikonikwa dombe kana ngane ngu dombe kana tathingu haleluya ko sema chiko mai na matanga ni sikani ndai ube kabe ko na nonda bina ga chiko bana kalo ena matanga ni sikani kwa haleluya ya ba bona ba bona ke ubo hayo ke na bose ni kalo ena sikani ke sa rauni da kaba bi hao ke sa rauni da kaba ke na nongo matabu bale au sini ba tar tutu ta kana matanga ni sikani kwa na kalo tala ga rauni da kaba bi ndua iko sema chiko mai ena matanga ni sikani kwa haleluya ni usana surat sarjunga na ndo tumbula na na velu taki na worship team na matanga ni sikani kwa haleluya mena ndua chiko bi ke na sere bi ke mamingo ingila ndi sambongi chiko na bonwa i ana sini bi so ta kana ni mamingo ba bonwa ka Mai mata sere haleluya na singa ni kwa ngoma mi baba ni bila tana kwa ni sana sura ti rauti ni bila taki ni na mai ba ndio taki mi kana na bosi ni kwa ni na mbo ni singa ni na haleluya
I can raise two, three. Holy Spirit, we welcome you in Jesus' name. You can take your seat in the presence of God. Hallelujah. So, what can I tell you? Come to your neighbor and tell your neighbor you look wonderful. Hallelujah. And you look great with your face. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We praise the Lord today for those of you that are tuning in from Fiji. Hallelujah. We are exactly on the opposite side of time and also on according to the globe. Exactly opposite. So today is about 10 minutes past 11 o'clock your time in Fiji. Mm. And it's 10 minutes, in fact, 9 47 48 after 11 at night mm. on a Saturday night. It's so it's an honor, it's a privilege. How great is this God? Yeah. To allow us to live from Deep Court, huh? Deep Court, somewhere in Oxford, Oxford side. Oh, Newbury. Hallelujah. All the way from here. And if they live from Fakare uh, for the Rua game, for the Rua game, they live from uh, uh, Vancouver Sevens. Now we are live. And we are live. But we praise God for yeah. the opportunity that you are live on television. And uh, some of you are flicking uh, TV1 and then uh, uh, NPC1 and then uh, TV1 and then uh, um, NPC Sports and number four, my TV. You stuck there because some crazy people are praising God. <laughs> what a blessing to be crazy for God. What a blessing to follow what God says. Psalm 47, the Bible says, Shout to the Lord. And clap your hand, all you people. Hallelujah. No Then we can shout and clap and shout. So we are so thankful. Uh, we are here by the provision, protection of God, and also the NCF here. Uh, they are looking after us well. And we are enjoying the two days by tomorrow. And uh, our last day here before coming back to Fiji. And we praise God for his provision, for his protection, that we can be here. And we take this time for all of you non NCF that you always follow us on Facebook and Amen. also on television. We now have a little bit of a follow to them. And some of you, this is your source of church, spiritual growth. So we take this time that you put aside the time. Having your lunch back home in Fiji, maybe in Wanolevo, maybe in the Asian Square, maybe in Tabiuni, or maybe in the South, from Waya right up to Nandula, we take this time to say, We are here, we just finished with the leaders' training, so we were just having Baba Panikeke and a few Lakari, Lakari, Hallelujah, all the way from the big cup back in Suba. We have it here. <laughs> Hallelujah. And after that, by 10 o'clock, our time, 10 o'clock, your time. And then we start our Masumasu. Just because we have the platform given by God in 2016 through television to share with you. I was sharing with the Tantal Gassi that New Methodist is no longer a denomination or a church. It's a service provider. And we have to provide you with sharing, uplifting. You see the God of our nation. It's normally we are not based so much on uh, Bible reading, on Bible teaching. We are here to encourage you uh, with the word of God. Uh, encourage you with the reality that you face yeah. in this life. So you see most of the time, Randini will be speaking on encouraging you that it can be done. That you are not forgotten. That you can make it. Whatever the word. We are not defined by our past failures. We are not defined because we come from Laura Mayuti. Or you come from that well. We are not defined by that. We are defined by the word of God. So Amen. don't lose so, hope. Even though you can see, you can feel, you can touch. Your five senses can say that everything is not right. But the sixth sense through the Holy Spirit is telling you that it's okay. So we are standing here and 
we want to say thank you so much. For those of you that are following us uh, on, uh, on every morning, daily campus, on a very cold uh, hill back in Didcot, we take this time to say Amen. for joining us. So, yeah, once again, thank you, Stanley, for allowing us this little ad time, and thank you to Chonati, Tai, and all the team that are helping us uh, because we wouldn't be able to reach the world without your work. We stand today to say thank you. We wouldn't be able to uh, add this program without the given time. Uh, thank you. And uh, we would like to say greetings to everybody. And we are really, really blessed. You know, these uh, couples that are sitting here, the leaders here for Europe, um, we stayed late last night. We actually left at about 2 o'clock in the morning. And today we had a late start, but we're still all here. And um, it's such a blessing just to be here. Uh, uh, worshiping God together. It, it's a short trip because we came in administratively just to uh, uh, realign and uh, encourage each other just to do God's work a little bit better than what we were doing. And uh, it's such a blessing just to be worshiping God tonight. Really blessed to see Tanga Seran Rondro and uh, Auntie Una. Uh, thank you for joining us uh, today or tonight. Uh, we had Manasseh and Esther after so long. Then I see you, you nearly, you know, uh, yeah. Manasseh is even taller than me. And uh, Ephraim, thank you for joining us. There are a few more that are here tonight uh, who haven't met for a little while. But uh, thank you for turning up. Uh, the Munitarias, we have uh, Talagase Unge and Auntie uh, Pe. It's been a while. We haven't met. You have been in the church, but every time we come, uh, somehow we haven't met. And we are really, really just blessed having you people with us uh, tonight. And uh, thank you, uh, Loado. All the people coming in from Scotland, we had a uh, few coming across on the ferry uh, from Northern Ireland. Uh, we have a couple coming in from Germany. Uh, it's quite uh, a collective uh, from all over. And uh, to be sitting in this uh, beautiful hall. And uh, we thank and acknowledge uh, uh, Talangase uh, Radule and Auntie Lucy and Auntie Lina. Thank you for this beautiful place. Uh, for the days and we'll be having our last worship tomorrow and uh, thank you for that and also thank you to the Nanduvas thank you Auntie Mbui for our hoodies oh, yeah. yeah it's really beautiful it says but God there is no way but God is the way amen uh, just so beautiful I like that anything to declare God is so beautiful and even seeing our ladies today they're wearing this uniform that says that faith praise the Lord you know how befitting uh, is that and I've already booked that uniform for our Women's meet in, the, um, in November in USA. And no men to give any excuse that the children are going to school. Men, stay back in Europe. Look after your children. And the women are joining us in America for that program. And it's also an invitation extended to anyone who is willing and free. Join us in uh, California. And I believe they may be having it in San Francisco, Santa Rosa. Uh, for that uh, one day. Uh, it's going to be beautiful. You know, you come in your... Glitter, forget for a while that you have a responsibility and come and dwell in the presence of God in the fellowship of other women. No phone calls allowed to follow the ladies from the men. Amen. Praise the Lord. So we're all looking forward for that. And, uh, you know, we just give praises to God for what he has done and continue to do. And also would like to, uh, you know, as until now, very powerful testimonials today. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. How powerful the testimonials were. Praise the Lord. And, uh, and that's how faithful God is. When you've seen, noticed, heard, and feel God's faithfulness, you can, you know, you can suppress it. You have to talk about it. Amen. And uh, it's amazing listening to Auntie La today. It's just amazing how things worked out. You know, when... Uh, and it really goes back to your relationship with God, being connected to God. The stronger you're connected, the thoughts God works. The stronger you're connected, you don't worry about anything. You just flick the thought, you just see the eye, and you, you know, all those things, none of you are doing. It's God's doing. When she was actually sharing about Abisa, uh, uh, but it's just amazing how God works. And Gassilevo can be testament to this. We actually prepared this big VVV. There was uh, uh, one of our family friends had, uh, yeah, had a funeral. Um, like a chiefly family in, uh, in Rewa. So they had asked for assistance. And because it's a chief, we really rolled it up. And somehow when it reached them, they have already done the ring rail. But I said, okay, just keep it. But they return it. And when they return it, uh, I just left it as it is. I said, just leave it there. I'll think about you know, how to 
take it back and store it back in the garbage bags. So it was still left there, that VVV. When Auntie La came, when we were talking that night, um, you know, in the house, when they came up with Abi, with one of the, uh, Abi's cousins, and Talangase uh, uh, Tava, in the process, then the Lord just said, the VVV is meant for this couple. Just amazing. Hearing Auntie La, you know, Auntie La, hearing a story today, uh, just so amazing. It shows um, that connection uh, that you do have with God. You know, you, you have your list. But when you connect, it's just amazing. I mean, imagine that funeral. It's a chiefly funeral. It's supposed to happen. I don't know what went wrong. What was the misunderstanding? It was taken to them. Yeah, it was taken to them. Saying that the ring ring had gone. I said, never mind, just take it. And, and this is what, you know, what the feedback. This is what they said. We will give it back because if we take it, even the whole thing that was prepared for that funeral, that is like double. And they just brought it back. And I said, I'll leave it like that. If anything else, let me know. So it was just rolled up until you two and Abby uh, came in that night. And you know, like you passed through, told the security just to come and say hello. But that hello was actually God's positioning. And, uh, and in the process, we were talking about the car. And after you two left, I told the EMOPS, who is uh, actually tuning in from the Miracle Worship Center in uh, Long Island Beach Estate. So I told him, look for a rental car. And like what he said, no rental car was available at that time because it was festive season. Uh, just about to board our flight, then he called. Uh, we were about to board the flight too because he stayed back. Then he said, I can't find any car. The only car available is Gasselevo's car. It's due to be taken into ESCO for checks a day later. We only have one day. And if it's okay, that car can be used. And it's just amazing. Yes, true. We've never loaded Ndalo. <laughs> Hallelujah. So for those of you NCFers are taking photo because it hasn't happened. It hasn't happened. But it takes a faith of a person. And a faith. And that faith calls miracles. Yeah. You know, whatever that you're going through and you have faith, don't worry about the money. Don't worry about how it's going to be done. Don't play God. Leave God to be God. All you need to do is position yourself and trust God. And that's what I heard tonight. You know, just listen to Auntie La because... You know, I know what God is doing on the other side, and you're talking about what's happening, and you know, it's just amazing uh, how God works. And, um, and we just praise God. And then he said, and I have your change here. And th this was him. I have your change here. And he said, change from? Oh, there is a change. And I said, okay, fill the car. And um, it, it has been a blessing for me. Uh, that's one thing that I've always asked God, to, to be his hands. Uh, use me as your vessel that I can listen to prayers that you can use me to be the physical essence to anyone who is praying to you that I can be used by you that I can hear you well where you want me position what you want me to do and I am just blessed when I always hear feedback it's like oh I heard him right so thank you for sharing your testimony today um, until I um, really blesses my heart just to know it's a confirmation that I was hearing my God right. And uh, thank you, EMOPS. Uh, it's quite irritating when you're calling, you know, when the boarding announcement is happening and then you're calling and asking, and this is just who he is. He'll never stop until the job is done. Uh, whether we're on the plane or whether in England or whether the time difference, he doesn't care. He will call. He just wants the job done. And sometimes he's waiting. I said, wait. He will be waiting outside my bathroom door. He'll follow me right to my car. Wherever I go, he'll be saying, I'm waiting. I'm waiting, man, you. And, and that's how he gets the job done. So it's just amazing. I'm blessed with you, my son. And I would like to take this time. Thank you for the work that you do. And uh, thank you also to uh, EM Prevent for going out of your way, uh, signing off all the chair covers just to make uh, Abis, uh, um, you know, uh, show the, the way it is because it was really significant uh, for her family back at home. And uh, thank you. I'm, like what I said, I've been sharing during administration uh, training for the last two days that um, my heart is always humbled and, pray, uh, you know, and blessed. I will never forget the people who have helped us in the humble beginning, regardless. And the Tava family is one of those family. Uh, that have given us a room in their home. Uh, that have uh, taken their time to drive us around uh, when there is no church here in England. Uh, they were one of the family, the only family at that time that we shared. And all the children have to go down to the living room and share the room with my children while we use their, their bedroom. So 
uh, not only for the Tava family, for the whole of New Methodists. Uh, in Vanon Lebu, in uh, the Western Division, everywhere we go, in Australia, New Zealand, I know everybody who have crossed our paths uh, to make it happen. And I've never forgotten, and I will never forget. Uh, regardless, for those of you who have left the church, I will always remember you. And uh, that is why, regardless, when we meet and you're not in, I'll always stop by to talk to you. And I'll, I'll always bless you. Sometimes we'll say, why well, you keep on sending things? It's not what you have done now. It's what you did. The moment and the time when we most needed it. Uh, so thank you to those of you who have made it happen for New Methodist for the last 21 years. Yeah. Uh, we may have had, um, you know, not have the opportunity to, uh, to say thank you, but take it from this platform this morning. Uh, there in Fiji uh, to uh, accept our gratitude. If we haven't had the time to meet, until really I know you're tuning in. And uh, because you always follow the program in La Loma, uh, forgive us for not being there for dad's um, funeral. And forgive us for not, not having the time to come and uh, say thank you to dad before he passed on. Because he was one of the senior pastors for New Methodist. And uh, I seek you to forgiveness. But if you have nowhere to go, come, come back. Come to New Methodist. Um, it's always a place. This church is too big to be left empty. But it's always having a space. No matter if you look and say, it's too many people. There's always a space for another extra one. So um, uh, thank you for, for being part of our lives. And uh, it's just amazing because when you have faith, regardless of what you're sitting yeah. on, uh, whatever that you're going through, don't ever lose faith. Uh, and don't give up. If it doesn't happen today, it will happen one day. It will happen. And don't determine God's timing to you. Allow God to do what he does. And you just, you know, float in his presence, grace in his presence, knowing that he knows what he's doing. He knows the time. It's not going to be on your time. It's always be on, on his time. And that's one thing that you must teach yourself. Don't, uh, See God's goodness in everything that you see. Uh, see God's goodness in your spouse. See God's goodness in your, in your children. No matter how rebellious they may be. Oh, they yeah. challenge you, you know, right to the edge of the cliff. Regardless of how challenging it can be. Try and look hard at that same challenging situation. And try and search for God's goodness. In the midst of, you know, adversary. There is the goodness of God out there. Don't give up. Because his goodness, as you see in your adversary, oh, how pleasant it is. When you begin to know that regardless of everything, he remains faithful, even when you are not. Hallelujah. So, um, yeah, we don't want to forget our little worship center. Uh, miracle, miracle worship center, worship all center. the way from Lodala Beach Estate. And Lake Kayla will be Rest standing Lord, in front of the And Lake Kayla screen. will be standing right in front of the screen. And will be saying, that's my yeah. pa, that's my nana. <laughs> and, we always, so, and we always tell her, no, that's Baya and that's Baya. Baya, that's Baya, no. That's my pa, that's my nana. So, hi, Lekela. Yeah, Bula Lekela and Hadassah and Samsara, and also to Sunny, uh, to the big boys, Joshua, Carlos, and uh, Junior, not forgetting Othaniel and Nishal. Um, Bula Vinaka, we miss you, but um, we will be home soon. And thank you for looking after us. Thank you for the duties, and thank you for the waking up early, and thank you for the staying home uh, in the night, and thank you for everything that you have done and continue to do. Uh, we are so grateful. Uh, thank you, Nate, for cooking for the mission for this week. And uh, thank you for the big help at home. Uh, thank you, uh, Elijah, for just looking after the fort. And thank you, Kula. Apart from everything, well, I've just remembered. We have our worship team boot camp right there in uh, Dudley. Hardly, hardly. Uh, we would like to welcome you all the way from England. And uh, thank you for the commitment. And they're having their boot camp Sunday on Friday. They're going to be dispersing after this God of Our Nation uh, program this morning. So we came in the Lakes of Mayvaya, Lakes of Mayvaya, Nanoda, Lakes of Mayvaya Western Division. Nearly like, 100 of them. Yeah. I saw the uh, Such a big number and the commitment that it takes. So we stand today to welcome you all and uh, thank you. And we look forward uh, to the anointing, yeah. uh, singing and everything that God, because you always usher us, you know, to his presence. And we are even more than blessed with the worship team that we have here. Man, Lamani, you have a, such a blessed voice. Praise the Lord. And thank you, Tangas Chikai. Thank you, um, 
Auntie Tilarika and also the couple. Uh, Auntie Laite and Natalanga uh, Sewanga Dao. You know, when we were praising, I don't know, he was confused whether he was praising or he was singing. I thought one but he did, wasn't. But you did very well when you do it both. Hallelujah. And I look and Auntie Laite was just laughing and, you know, shaking her head. She was confused too because the husband's singing right next to her. And when she looked, she's, you know, he's left her and dancing with all the congregation. Uh, but that's just who you are. And it's a blessing to see how you praise your God. Yeah, yeah, we don't know whether you're a giraffe or whether you're a camel. Yeah, hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen. I can even go dignify me more. Amen. Hallelujah. And I, I, I believe that's yeah, what. We, yeah. are, we are always blessed with Talanga Siwanga Dao's uh, uh, praising. praising. And yeah. even Talanga Siti You know, some people... They just, you know, they just have it. Like it's contagious. Eh? Whenever you see, you go to the house, 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 you the to the house, you go to to the house, you go to the house, the 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 but God will answer your prayer because of your faith. Kembali ni bini bini lenga na tavu na tao esenga ni no mule bu ni maso. It's your faith. Hallelujah. God respond because of your faith. And uh, just listening to the testimony, the three testimonies tonight. Eh? Yeah, thank you, Talaga Stevanga, for that gratitude uh, shared. A lot of times we move on, eh? Yeah. And this is amazing when you're recollecting everything. And I and I believe all of us have our own story. As Talanga Stuivanga spoke today, all of us have got that kind of chronological, you know, like you uh, record all the events of your moments with God yeah. on what he did. And sometimes, like what he said, it's so easy to forget. Mm. So don't forget. If you have forgotten, after hearing that testimony today, try and recollect. Because once you write it down, then you will change your attitude today. It will make oh, you so hallelujah. grateful and you will challenge yourself. If God has done all these things for me, what have I done? And the only thing that you can do is to serve him well. And to have a good heart. And live right. Amen. Amen. So, uh, your faith, it calls a miracle. Yeah. Your faith. Praise the Lord. And every time now when I'm praying, even from last year, every time I pray and say, Lord, I just don't want to, you know, to receive miracle the way it comes. I want to see you miracle every day. Hallelujah. Because when you have faith, the unthinkable, the unfathomable, it helps. You know, it just happened. It's part of your life. It takes you no more bull. You could sing that little bangarai, bangarai you come on. Signs, oh, signs and wonders is 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 part of your life. Amen. Jesus said in Mark chapter 16, eh? uh, 15, 16, 17, 18. I can't even hold on. So a muri ira. So you don't look for signs and wonders. You don't look for miracles. Miracle signs and wonders look for you Hallelujah. because you have faith. The faith that triggers and they have miracle. Because when you have faith in God, that means you are trusting in God. We know the mountain is in front of you. And yet Abraham still take up his son, the only son, and the son that he loves. If you can only see what's going on on the other side of the mountain. Your faith created the miracle on the other side of Hallelujah. the mountain. Because miracle is supposed to be part of our life. Yeah. That's why the Bible says, do not worry by saying what to eat, what to drink, what to wear. Don't you know that your father in heaven know exactly what is good for you. So when you pray and it's not answered, God is saying no. You are not, you are not uh, uh, matured enough to, to handle what oh, you are asking for. So he will say, no, wait, yes. When she was sharing uh, that he sees, he hears, and he knows. So when what is requested is on a delay, God knows that you are still a child to be given $100. You are still a, a child to be given a big house to go and stay in. God knows that. 
So remember today, if your, if your prayer is not answered, it's already answered. He said, no, wait, grow up some more. Go to, walk on your knees more. Speak with your tears more because you get matured and then you receive. We're supposed to walk by miracle every day. Ebeni na kemu na memu no muisulu na kako lenga taka ni mataka kuni lenga taka bali de sindu ndunga mo lenga taka bali taka lunga tanta matela ba e po ka rebi chopo ka duita ki chopo ndunga we are not living by the work that we do that is your duty to do the work because god talented you give you the gift give you the ability to do the work whether you are nurse or whether you are teacher you are pilot you are accountant whatever you do that's a gift from god amen but your life is not in your gift your life is with the life and that is god if we can only think like that au na numa saranga ni ni tumbula ba bita mai no tumbula no ni tiguna no guda kada e pesebi ana buna buna saranga urisani kina ni sakabe ona kalu au sakanga motoso toso amen and then uh, seven years later she join us na no na no na ticket na no na benefit senga e ro ro kina na lotu ro ro kina la ko mengilandi ke to nduringa ke to e usa tu ga be una ticket la ko la basa na ta return ticket to suba sa tu ga sa tu ga every time he many you know sometimes when you write your list and you waiting on god you are trying to play god by thinking out how that list is going to happen if you're listening to me today write your list with faith clear the way create the condition leave that for god Leave it for God. Uh, There's a lot of uh, things that God has done, you know, that has shown and uh, proven what He can do when you just leave it to Him. Actually, stop God's hand. When you're thinking about it, oh, how are you going to do it? Like you're worried. Eh? You're oh. worried. You're doubting. Yeah. That's opposite That's of doubt. faith. When you have faith, you just pray, you believe, you know, you are good. You write the list, you know, you are good. Leave it. Don't. And uh, don't worry about that. You pray and you move on. You believe, you have faith that God is going to do Hallelujah. in his own way. And as I look back, he had done so many times. For me, like I look at it, I thought it's normal. I thought that was normal. I can be writing a payment voucher for those of you that have worked with me. I can be writing payment vouchers on my desk. And there's a lady waiting at the lounge, at the front, with exactly the same amount of money that I circle on my payment voucher that... Ladies waiting with that exactly amount of money. And it's amazing. And sometimes I begin to think, how does that happen? Who, who else would have done that? It's only God. Because only God, God has been the one, you know, talking to this person. It's, it's amazing. Because even before I come to realize that I need that, a day before, this person had been convicted already by God. And already positioned before I even know that I need it. And I know Lisa is listening in from Melbourne. There was this particular uh, payment voucher that I, I wrote. It was $17,000. It was on my desk. I think it was $17 or $15. And, uh, and I received a call from this lady uh, that I haven't met. She called and then she said, uh, uh, Randini, I will not tell you my name. And I said, it's fine. I said, you want to talk to somebody? And then she said, no. And you may be listening to me today. Um, God allows yeah. one day that I will meet you. And then she said, uh, I want to remain anonymous, but I need, um, I need somebody to meet me at the bank. I've been convicted to come to the bank, but I don't bank with the NZ um, that I see to ministry account, but I, I bank with the bread or HFC. And I said, okay. And uh, she said, can you send one of your staff? Or can we meet them? She said, I can come, but I'll send one of my staff. So I call Lisa, running down to Lisa, but away all the way in Melbourne. She will remember this day. She came in and said, um, and I said, can I at least take your phone number? Because she was calling me on the landline. And she said, I don't want to give my number. I said, look, I need your number because you haven't seen the stuff that I'm sending her to you. I just need her to buzz you so she can meet you. And then that she doesn't know what you look like, so I don't know what to, what to tell her. I said, okay, I'll give you my number, and I will need you to delete it soon after I give you your number. And I said, fine, that's fine. And said, my number is digital. And I said, good to go. So she gave her number. I called Lisa and said, Lisa, this is a digital number. You go to have Chef C, as you enter, you call the number. When you call the number, she will look at you, and there is her. And you delete the number, and I will delete the number from here. So Lisa went. She walked into the bank. She called the number, and she said when she walked into the bank, and she saw everybody at the bank, no one looked the look to give her $15,000. 
So she buzzed the number once and then she called me back and said, did I? Hallelujah. So she dialed the number again. And she said, one frail lady, old lady, came. She said, Cut the story short. She went to her office. That whole day, in the afternoon, she walked back. Lisa, I know you're listening in. Eh? She said, Auntie Ray, can, can God send angel? I said, like what? I said, you don't understand because you didn't see the lady I met. You know, whatever that you're going through, don't look at the physical things on how God is going to work out. Hallelujah. Wherever you are, as long as you are in the universe that God has created, you are good. I've always said this. I can travel the world. I can get off at any airport with zero money in my pocket. I know I am good. As long as God created plan and created country, I know I am good. Because that's who your God is. Amen. And I know that Auntie Asnate and uh, uh, Maggie listening in from Toranga, there was this uh, last payment that we needed to do. We were uh, paying off the loan for my TVS we purchased. The more than half a million. And we have the last payment to make. It was $17,971. Because I wrote it on my post-it pen. And I sellotaped it on the edge of my computer on the four corners. Indirectly speaking, I look at it to remind me to pay off. Amen. And that particular week, we had nothing. But I prepared the payment voucher. So I just saw the process, the whole thing. He said, Auntie Ra, it's due tomorrow. Pray. By tomorrow, it should come. Hallelujah. Write the check. Just take the check tonight. Because the oh. bank, that company will not look for the money. Because there's no money there. Go. And the bank open in the morning at uh, 9 o'clock. Then they will check the balance. Prayerfully, by that time, while they're still checking, the money will come in. That's how I operate. When there is no money, when the bills are due, I pay them in the afternoon. Just when the bank is supposed to close. To avoid me paying the penalty fees. And with faith, in the morning, there's enough money there. How he does it, I don't know. I yeah. don't ask. That's his job, not mine. And this particular one, when I told them to go and pay, there was no money in the account. The last payment of $17,971. They went. And I was still sitting in my office when Maggie called up from the other office and then she said, Auntie, have you seen the email? And I said, what email? This is an email there. And I'm copied in. I said, what email? Who's emailing? This is lady. I've called her. And um, she said she doesn't want to talk to anybody. She just needs you to read the email. When I read the email, thank you, Mela. And uh, this beautiful lady, Mela, we haven't met as well. Uh, well, it's just amazing. Sometimes I can think whether you people are real or you're angels sent by God. Um, I am just so thankful. Thank you. And uh, the email says, uh, Rendini, I've been burdened by God. I just need, you to, uh, need to let you know that I've... On this account number, ministry account number, I've transferred $17,971. And I emailed back, and I told you, Mela, and I know you're hearing me today. And I told you, thank you for hearing him right. No one knew, but he did. The payment that was made the afternoon before, here I was praying and fasting. Believing that God is going to make a miracle. This lady emailed to say, then in the middle of the night, she was woken up. And she did an online transfer of 17971 Exactly the amount that I written on the corners of my PC. If anybody who is a strong advocate for faith, I am standing today. 
I see God's hands move. I can tell you how great your God is. So if you're a believer and you're giving up, don't, yeah. don't give up. Keep on pressing. Keep on hoping. Keep on believing. Because he hasn't changed yet. Regardless na kay kuriritiko ni bakay bimbasa ike na kay kumas lakatiko taura maroya tosa tiko kako abakando ni kubirita kana tewelu balato ko esember niyoti na kaya kabibiko he hasn't finished with you yet don't give up stay in his presence stay in his presence because when you have faith it calls miracles when you have faith whatever you see it change Whatever you say, it happens. However you feel, it brings about a cold anointing to the room where you are at. When you walk in into an area or into a place in Dutana Kaitukina, you just bring God's anointing in every step of the way. And every word that you say, change every situation. And even your enemies, they find favor. Hallelujah. Now, Kain Dutani Wakando, Iko Lokani Visao, Sengno Iko, Nakalo Iko Garaba, Wakaboti Kwamanda Nikua. Maybe you're raising your hand and you're trying to tell us today, hey, I am sick. What are they talking about? The percentage of my kidney keep on falling. I am about to die, the cancer, whatever that I'm going through. Don't give up. As long as God is your creator, he hasn't finished with you yet. Hallelujah. He hasn't finished. Position yourself. Tell that foreign thing to get out of your system. Yeah, the doctors say what they say. They're paid to do that. Hallelujah. If the doctor say that, you tell. Speak over. Get your red pen and write what God said over what the doctor says. Hallelujah. If they say you only have a few days, you say to yourself, my God said that I am the head and not the tail. I am forgiven by his grace. Trust God. Fight. Fight. Because your God is going before you. But that one other than Rendre Kolaku Rumitiko. Some of us have lost our loved ones. Selai, I know you're listening from uh, Vudi Road. I know, I know you miss your brother. Like this, last week, your brother passed on. Many more people may be like Selai. Losing the very ones, you know, like what if, should have, could have. I don't know how deep, how hurt you may be grieving. But all I know, maybe sometimes you question God, why? Why you keep on taking them? Why you keep on taking the good people? Why you keep on taking the loved ones? But God is God. Yeah. God is God. So if you're going through one of those moments and you're feeling so empty and so, you know, void in your heart, fill it up with the presence of God. Look for a church. Just stay in his presence. Just read his word. Just cry out to him. He'll give you peace as opposed to all human understanding. Life is too short. Life is too short. Too short. Too short to be spent that way. You know, allow every minute of your life to be a minute that you're stepping closer to your God. Hallelujah. That you'll always remember and leave a legacy behind of how faithful you are to your God. And even when you're faithless, he remains faithful. That's a wonderful thing about the God that we serve. Hallelujah. So whatever you're going through, if you're, you know, right at the crossroads, trying to tell yourself, okay, whatever that I've been praying for, God doesn't listen. I want to do this. I want to do that. Take one step at a time. Or step back. Sometimes we have all our lives figured out. That the one and on the bullet, we are all good planning out. But we minus God out of your plan. Bring God to your plan. Take a step back and allow God to run your plan. As long as he says that I, your God, Hallelujah. That I know the plans I have for you. To prosper, never to harm. To bring about the future that you hope for. Even the future you could see some attack me other week or quite to one amino. Most of these people that are sitting here, they never plan. Like you hear Auntie Allah testifying today, you know, about Auntie Lucy. People you are sitting here today, you come in a different um, you know, ways that only God did for you. 
You never plan growing up or being in school at one point in time to say, I will be there. I will be there. But God, there was God's plan for you. So as you're here, wherever you are, in Australia, New Zealand, the palm and the seasonal workers, wherever you are, don't easily forget God. Because before you endeavor to what you were going through, you said you held hands. You hold your wife's hand, hold your husband's hand. You held hands with your children and you prayed together. And he answered. So don't easily forget God and don't forget your family back home. Because whatever that you're looking for is not where you are going. It's in the depth of knowing who your God is. Right, right into the depths of your whatever that you're going through, he remains faithful. Oh, hallelujah. The Bible says in uh, John chapter 6, eh? The positioning of the disciple Amen. when the miracle was supposed to happen. Hallelujah. The multiplication of bread happens in the hands of the disciple. Hallelujah. So our positioning is very important. Not only our faith and we don't work that faith. Amen. We have faith and we position. Boldly that you are doing it, that means you believe that faith, that faith will activate itself. Hallelujah. And the Bible says that Jesus lift up the five loaves of bread to heaven and pray. And after that, they were standing there. The normal fishermen, some of them are rejected. And in their hands, God performed miracles. Hallelujah. Because they were in the right place at the right time. The bread was not multiplied in the hands of Jesus, but in the hands of the disciples. The miracle will happen in our hands. Yo. Jesus will never come, ag come again as a person. That's why we Christian ambassadors of Christ. Hallelujah. We are sent by God to be the light and to be the salt of the earth. So that's why our positioning in wherever we are plays an important role for that bread to multiply and feed thousands of people. We become source of blessing to people around us just because we activate our faith by holding our right position. Hallelujah. God told Joseph, tomorrow go and fight. When you go, take up your position and wait. Oh, for the hallelujah. Lord will perform miracles today. Because the battle that you're facing, it's not yours. <laughs> no. Oh. Now, let's go to the house. 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 Let's we want to play God. And that's the problem. God is a jealous God. Move aside. Take your position. And God will move in. Hallelujah. And put the action. Amen. The victory is yours. But the battle is the Lord. <laughs> oh, high five to your neighbor and tell your neighbor. Don't play God. You are not God. Because both of you want to be God. Because we are supposed to live with miracle signs and wonders every day of our life. Romo da nima tenia da soli biko eight hundred years ni beri sudu Isaiah chapter nine verse six. A child will be born and a boy will be given. The the authority or the power, the government will be upon his shoulder. And his name is Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Why the name, five names was given to us with Wonderful, number one. Amen. So we Christians today, we must celebrate. Mr. Wonderful is on the way. Many. Mr. Wonderful is walking down the road. Not John Wayne. Hallelujah. Not Django. Not Superman. Not Spider-Man. Mr. Wonderful is coming. He will look after your fridge. He will look after your money. He will look after your finance. He will look after your bill. And of course, he will look after your children. I'm doing this. I'm investing. I'm, I'm depositing in the kingdom of God because of my children. And my children's children. And my children's children's children. Amen. Praise the Lord. 
Bada ba tuna mbula ni uwai ena loma ni wasosa Bada ba na kena dhangi suwa ingele ngele Bada ba na nonda raibu wa baka puku puku Se baka mburu murisi kuri na tamata Haleluya Dua ngana musmile rasmile todoko Hemani Because Mr. Wonderful is coming down the road Haleluya When we leave this hall tonight Abosa tunganguri Hono na miniti As long as Jesus is on life, I see you being busy. I'm not going to talk about that. Or Tata Viraki, so go talk to him. So go Clark, so go typist, so go radio operator, so telephone operator, so CEO, so director. Can I be busy? Mr. Wonderful is part of your team. Amen. And I believe you will enjoy life because. He said in Matthew chapter uh, 11, verse 28, Come unto me, all of you are tired of carrying heavy loads. Yeah. I'll give rest to your soul. Take my yoke and put it on you. Yeah. Because my load is light and my yoke is easy. Give us a moment to be able to do it. And to do it. 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 I was explaining to some people so as I said, we can't Nisa <laughs> What, what is important for the Lord? Because he will look after all the things of your household. No. He wants to be the Lord of every day of your life. When you sit together, don't miss out your family devotion. Because that is the most wonderful, beautiful church gathering. And that is your home. Amen. But you can't get it. You not yeah, I evaluate the church. Amen. And a raw raw, kona tali takan ambula baka biwati ni kona tali takan rotom bula nangone na kana mandanga. Elebu nangone sa mama utunga balita nandraki sulitu na biwe kanyo mani matabo vale. Nandraki mandanga matabo vale. It's so wonderful. Why? The presence and the peace, the power and the provision of God. Gay sulitu mani nona presence. Amen. Kero unduritu ni ko kero. Kerubia, encourage sekarang lalu tu. Siapa yang akan bikin tujuh ike? Fitch baru untuk ni gua. 
Ondo baka don bitak ina lotu baka don bitak ina garami kalu ena lenga to stava no it's wrong our god want to interfere because he love us the reason he die on the cross so he take he take over we are not qualified to be, to receive what we supposed to receive we are the offspring of the failed adam in genesis chapter 3 ge lago mai na final adam baka toka oh paula the final adam ge brought back all these things so we enjoy the presence of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah, so um, it's one minute to midnight. Just in case you uh, switch off from the My TV Facebook, you can join us on the ministry page. And we will be having a holy communion. Um, this is uh, also um, say thank you to the foreign. Eh? I think it's your mission Sunday today uh, for the foreign uh, division for New Zealand, Australia, and those of you that are tuning in. For America, we have the virtual and also uh, Sacramento Zone. Uh, that are here uh, with us, Talgas Tuivanga and Auntie Anna, and uh, those that are tuning in. And we would like to uh, say thank you so much uh, for uh, the mission Sunday today. And uh, we all look forward to what God has uh, in store for us. And if you uh, partake in the Holy Communion with us, we would like you to uh, relook at your prayer list. And we would like to say thank you so much for the mission Sunday today. And we all look forward to what God has in store for us. And the cover to be mother, or rather, no, they will or to a rich man and render to me in a lottery. I always tell them every week, check on your journal. If you know you look through your journal and God hasn't answered anything yet, transfer, keep on writing the same thing until it happens. Because indirectly, you're trying to tell God or remind God, I am still writing, I am still waiting. I know you're doing it, and I believe in you, and I'm waiting. It will happen. Continue to write it. And revisit your prayer journal because you're supposed to be praying in every day. But at least once in a week, look through your list. That's why your journal is supposed to be filled up already. The days have gone. Amen. Continue to write until he answers. And, and also review your life. Uh, try and, uh, and just check what is priority in your life. If you love God, everything about you, your action, your spending, your sitting, your life, uh, anything about your life habits will be defined by the love in your heart. If you love your family, it will be defined thereof. Because He's more than the president. Yeah. He's more than the prime minister. He's more than the Ratu. He's more than the Mulu. He's the king of a nation. Hallelujah. You will see through, increase their faith, and sharpen their wisdom, because you are the author and the finisher of our faith. God of our nation. Every Sunday is at 10.30 a.m. Live, Live on, on my, my TV. TV.